she hasn't already gone for it. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so we know Astrid uh, had a secret mission with a metal case, which we've now claimed to come out to Great Bear. Oh, Will's coat. This is our coat. Look at Jack Rabbit Transport, which is obviously uh, is the name of one of the islands, Jack Rabbit Islands, we've played previously. Uh, out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm, and remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries, from falling or tangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility costs when they're combined. Good. Right. Can we collect the rose hips now? Still don't need those at this point. Right. Anything else before? I know there's the deer right there, but let's just um, have a good look around. Some more sticks. Right. Let's get this sorted. This could save my life. Doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Uh, let's get three and a half kilograms of meat and start harvesting that. Yep, so welcome back. It's uh, We've had our first cutscene. We know the uh, initial start point of the se uh, series, and we know there's some history between Astrid and Will McKenzie. Uh, felt so cold in my sounds life. like they lost a child, perhaps. Raw meat, everything you can eat, can kill you. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Ooh, nice. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. I think we just hurt ourselves somehow. Yes, as I was saying, uh, it looks like they potentially could have lost a child together or something like that. Obviously, there there is a bit of a... A complicated history between the two, so that that plot's going to play out as we uh, advance the uh, story mission along, which will be quite interesting. But for now, let's get this uh, food cooked and uh, into our belly. Oh, nice and warm. Whoops! Don't walk on the fire. Twenty-five minutes left, so let's get some um, lovely and. Let's get this gamey meat cooked. How long does this lot take to cook? About 15 minutes by the looks of it. So that's okay. Get this all nicely cooked up. Now, in the, uh, the base or the uh, early access game, you could probably keep the... Uh, raw meat until it was just about to go really um, unedible and then you'd cook it and you'd get the most dura duration out of it but um, at the moment I think we're just gonna play along with how the game wants us to play so let's get uh, a kilogram of meat into our stomach wow that really didn't go very far Uh, let's have another half. A... Okay, there we go. So we got a bit of that, and let's have a drink as well. Get our conditioning up as best we can. Good, great stuff. So our, uh, we're warm. We are full of water, and we are full of food. We've got 2,400 calories. Conditioning is coming up to 60%. That is pretty damn good. Right, objectives. See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Explore the ravine. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. How much time do we have? Oh, where's my fire gone? An hour and ten minutes. Should we see if we can uh, just get... Maybe another litre of water done? There may not be enough time. Boil that water. You know, it's a shame to, you know, let the uh, the fire go to waste, so. Okay, there's another litre of, um, we we'll probably get another one. Can we get another litre out of it? We may have some purification tablets left, so. Uh... No, I think we're going to be okay, actually. Good, another two litres of water gained. Excellent. Right, let's see if we can climb out of the ravine then. 
Um, probably start by crossing over up here and going up there. You can see those rose hip bushes lead, which could potentially be a, a way up. It's annoying that they've got this backpack here and I can't access it. Um, can we can we climb this? Yes, we can. Sprained ankle. Oh, this guy. He's a pilot. Really? Rose hips. Okay, this is part of the tutorial. It's fine. Rose hips. Mother nature's painkiller. Sometimes mother nature has, is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Keep an eyes open for other natural remedies. Okay. As well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. And our sprained ankle has been healed. Day five. Welcome back, everyone. I feel stronger today. I feel stronger today. I think I can climb out of here now. Good. It's about time. Knowledge. What you know can save you. As you learn things about the world, either through your own actions or through interactions with people, you'll unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. The knowledge is tracked in the journal for future reference. Nice. Let's have a quick look then. Um... Yep, we don't know anything yet, apparently. Right, so we're going to try and climb out of here once again, uh, which is up near the rose hips. Let's have a quick scurvy around to make sure there's nothing. We could break this crate down, actually. See if there's anything inside it as well. Nope. Cobble box. Right, let's try not to fall off this log oh, and break our ankle. You know how rubbish this guy is. Right. Welcome back everyone, thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying this, remember subscribe to keep an up to date with all the latest video releases uh, and we're going to try and break out of this uh, ravine today. Boop, rose hips, this is our nature's pain killing tea, which is always good, another stick, um, we're going to try and climb out of this, Only one way to go. yep, our hand is looking jolly good, all healed nicely. Looks very spiky, these branches, but we are out of the ravine. Da, da, da. Let's go more rose hips here. Yes, yeah, so it's nice to be back in. Um, um, there we go. I got stuck for a moment. I couldn't move. Right. Looks like I've got some more climbing to do. More rose hip gathering. Obviously, the rose hip gathering quest we are currently on. It's going splendidly. All right, let's have a quick look in our journal. Uh, your hand feels stronger now. It's time to climb out of the ravine. Okay, we're not quite out of the ravine, apparently. Don't fall. Uh, these climbing sequences are all pre-rendered. I'm not doing anything for this. I'm not pushing any buttons or anything. It's just climbing up. More rose hips. I think, we... I think so. What's this here? It's just a bit of the rock coming through the snow. Nothing to worry about. There goes the murder of crows. I think three crows makes a murder. So if you see two crows together, it's just an attempted murder. Oh, the old jokes are the best, aren't they? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, dear. Stop it, Taff. You're killing us. Literally, stop it. Okay, fine. Right. Finally made it. Don't step back. I thought we were going to saunter and slide backwards back into the ravine. That would be horrible. Right. Rosehip Ravine has been conquered. And now we are out in the wilderness. Cue bear or wolf to come and eat us. Ah, is the rest of the um, bits of the airplane crash. What was that noise? Did you hear that? It could have been just the journal. I had to test it then. Is that a box now? Okay, I'm not sure which bit of the plane this is. 
Okay, sorry, we're back. Um, for some reason, the uh, the game minimized to desktop. Not quite sure why it did that, but uh, we're back, and thankfully the game hasn't crashed or anything. Slightly random uh, action there, but we're back on course. Let's have a. I sure hope Astrid's not in there. 